It's clear the Davidians are more of a problem than we initially thought. We know they're in the neutral zone. Now we know they're on Drazana Station as well, and according to Zamara, there have already been deaths there. In addition, she indicated that the lower levels of the station were a trouble spot. Those levels aren't used as part of the club there, and they haven't been maintained for years, and Ferengi are, of course, quite reticent to put any effort into maintenance that isn't absolutely necessary. That means we don't really know what's down there. Zamara's code should get you access. Take a lift down and check it out. Previous Starfleet encounters with Davidians have indicated that they will create nests around the temporal portals they use. So keep an eye out for anomalies. If we find the portal, we'll know where and when the Davidians are feeding. Oh, and I expect it to be messy down there. Don't forget to take an emergency beacon. Okay. Until next time. So, let's return back to... Trofana Station. And... Let's give... Let's give our security officer... The... Weapon. And... Where? So he is most equipped. Um, I still question whether or not that was the correct decision because I feel like a faster walk or would prove more essential in the long run. But then of course we then have the issue as a whole of getting it eventually. But there we have that. Let's go to the station. I really, 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 really hate this station already. It's only a second time there, I already hate it. And I don't know why it keeps zooming us in. So, so close. Welcome to Josanna. Yes, yes, Fringy. I know. We've been here before. You know, it's true, if it was someone's job to do that, to that station, people would be arriving all the time. You would never have a break. It would be unbearable. And I'd request a substantial amount. What? Let's descend. Our away team of five, we are ready to go. So now we're on the maintenance levels. What lies beneath? So I'm reading temporal fluctuations and trilithic energy in these levels of the station. Staying down here for too long could be hazardous. The interference also may make it difficult to contact the ship or to get the transport to look if we need an emergency beam out. The levels primarily contain power junctions and EPS conduits from the rooms above. We need to reach the maintenance lift and take that down to the computer core. Okay. Okay, okay. Emergency flashlights. This box of emergency supplies isn't just lying around. We may probably be bartered with the Norsican pirate for it. I recognise these flashlight drones. Hands-free hover systems and programmed to shift in response to your movements. Not the most reliable design though. Okay. So now it looks like we've got little shoulder pads. Trilithic waves. There must be Devid in there. I expect that we will see more as we approach the area with greater concentration of trilithic waves. Sir, I'm picking up some indeterminate readings from behind the door to our left. However, the interference of the trilithic waves make it hard to accurately scan at a distance. At our left, okay. Is 
Is that a person? This Frankie suffered from trilithic radiation poisoning. It seems that he's been down here a while, sir. Even if the Davidian couldn't use his neural energy, it's still dangerous to be so close to the nest. There's nothing we can do for him now. Due to the temporal flux disrupting the transporters, we can't even beam the body out. Once we get out of here, we'll notify the station security. Appeared behind me. Damn this infernal thing. Said to my left. So I go to the first door on my left and it leads me astray. It meant first left out of the corridor, out of the this room. Well, looks like some sort of main hub. Okay, examining the door. Looks like the door is stuck, sir. We'll have to find another way around. One of the side maintenance passages is off the roof. What the? Oh my god. What the hell are cave spiders doing on a space station? That does mean one thing. The Davidian aren't the only ones. Oh my god. Screw eat me. They're trying to outright kill me. Okay, that looks like warp cores. Energy core, power core. Things not getting away that easily. And uh, more spiders. Different types of spiders. Many, most spiders tend to be quite territorial. It's surprising the fact that two species of spider have been able to survive this long without causing the other to go extinct. Interesting. The Davidian are definitely getting more aggressive. They should have a lair somewhere in the lower levels. If they do, they'll become increasingly more violent as we get closer to the territory. The Psychronic Proton Rifle should have a significant effect against Dividen. The, the Proton Beam Mode would be especially effective. Which I suppose is something we are, of course, meant to wield. But are not. That goes to our chief security officer. Someone's put the lift on emergency lockdown. We'll have to override the lock codes to access it. Okay. Access console. That should do it. I wonder if someone was locked down here in the first. Uh, questions, questions, questions. We'll never know the answer to. There's no point asking. I'm done with this mission already. This isn't the computer core level. 
So it appears that the lift is stuck. We're somewhere in the maintenance level for the environmental controls and the waste recycling. We'll need to track down the damage junctions on this floor and repair or bypass them before we can take the lift to the computer core level. Okay. Let's override the lock on this door. And... Ta-da. More spiders, more spiders, more spiders. It's a good thing I don't have arachnophobia. What the flip is that noise? Someone locked the door with an encryption key. It looks like the key itself is a killer quad long. Sir, if we don't find that key, we're stuck in here for a long time. Let's contact the ship. Are you there, Captain? Your signal is... There's too much interference there. It looks like we're on our own. Oh, I'm worried. This... This... Captain, the door, we're locked in. Yes, I've just realised that very thing. And this light on my shoulder is practically useless. Log entry supplemental. The strange power fluctuations are related to the problems in the power subsystems on the upper decks. So I'm looking into the possibility of feedback damage or spikes in the environmental systems. It could take some time to find the problem and make repairs, though. Particularly if I need to use the replicators to create replacement components. My balan is low to allow use of the replicators for anything more than blood wine and vermilion sand peas. This is dirty, uncomfortable, and thoroughly disagreeable work. Naturally, as soon as the job involves mucking around in the recycled atmosphere and waste processing, I get the short straw. I don't believe he was particularly happy about the job at hand. Will they work in? Okay. And of course. We're disrupting the nest. But we can't be on the nest level, can we? I mean, why would they stop us? I'm assuming they're, they're the ones who got us stuck on this level. Apologies for the darkness as well. I mean, us being locked in is the only possible reason. Uh, let's go this way first. Voice is coming from the communication console on the wall, Captain. Yep. I got it. Hello? Is someone there? Who is this? Please, you have to help me. I came down here to check on one of the atmosphere regulators. Then someone shot me. Who shot you? I'm I'm not sure. I, I didn't get a good look. He was so fast. Please, you have to find a way to open this door and get me out of here. I'm activating the manual override. Try to reach the no, Robin, no. He's back. He's no. Ah! We're blowing this door through. Triggering manual override. There she is. Multiple face burns and contusions, sir. This woman was murdered. The wounds are still warm. She was killed just a few seconds ago. 
There are no other exits or entrances in this room, and the transporters are offline. How could she be killed if she was alone in a locked room? She was Bajoran. So, not that that has any relation. What now? Spiders. But it's not the never done, it's them. Log in the supplemental. I've upgraded a few of the components on this level, including remote overrides for bleed valves on environment controls, hollow emitters to expedite further repairs, and security overrides in case of emergency. I'm starting to suspect that the low-level radiation I've detected on these decks has affected the station inhabitants, and that some are showing signs of transient acute schizophrenia and paranoia. I'll have to maintain contact silence for now, so that they don't interfere while I'm trying to repair the systems. Once I've corrected the problems causing the radiation leaks, we can deal with the symptoms. Log entry supplemental. My work here will take far longer than I originally anticipated. Fortunately, I've engaged a safety interlock on the maintenance lift, so no one will come down here without me knowing about it. I found several program errors that have purged the affected subroutines. The work is much easier now. Soon everything will be under control. Um, he sounds like he's going crazy. I'm sorry, he... Look at all of them in there. Anyways, a nest, it's there. Enemy okay, so we have maintenance entries from the 23rd century to the 25th century. The Frankie have it now, so I'm assuming 23rd to 24th. Um, probably either the 23rd century or after we got it back from the Klingons in the 24th century. Because the Klingons controlled Trezana Station at the beginning of the 24th century. Unless after that time it just went straight to the Frangi. But he definitely sounded like he was going crazy. Okay, relay three done. Relay four remaining. So it's yeah, let's go. Those nodes have been controlled remotely. It wouldn't be safe for someone to stand near them and activate them. Captain, if you remember your wave interference from the Academy, you might be able to jam the remote signal. I do. I mean... Who the hell was that? Was that the guy from the maintenance entries? Bonnie Kin. Is that some sort of nursery rhyme or I'd never heard? What the hell? Gave me flipping goosebumps. Okay. What the? Again. That's just bizarre. Wonder where he went. He has to be the person who done the maintenance log. It's the only one down here. He also has to be the one with the encryption key. Dress. 
Okay, that's just completely bizarre. There he is. a maintenance worker and he's gone crazy trilithic waves didn't kill him they made him crazy but how has he been able to survive for such long time that makes no sense unless he did come down there during the 24th century Too bad he didn't have. Although he could have been sent through time. Malfunctioning hologram. No wonder. The trilithic energy would have degraded his program and caused instability. And the Davidian didn't bother it because it had no neural energy for them to feed upon. Sir? It looks like the encryption key for the door might correspond to the subroutine embedded in the hologram's mobile emitter. We should be able to use it to open the door. Mobile emitters are still a rare outside star fleet, Captain. The staff here must have quite a lot of latinum to obtain one. If you ask me, Belaine might be selling more than drinks in Darbo. It would be best if someone kept an eye on him, but I have a feeling... Franklin Drac is doing just that. What the hell? He's a hologram, but he seemed insane. He didn't seem evil. He generally f felt like Mad Hatter crazy. Strange. Quite strange. Hopefully that's the end of this mission though. Oh wait, no, we've got to go further down, don't we? Remember. This is it. We've made it to the computer core level. On this station, the core is down a long ramp area past some reg regulatory door rooms. We should head there as quick as possible. Sorry, for a moment I couldn't speak. Trying and it just seemed to ramble on. Okay. Examine this door. Another locked door. This one doesn't seem to have any special code. We should be able to open it from the secondary security console just down the hall. No doubt we're going to encounter the Devonan in here. No? That's odd. Oh, of course. The moment I unlock the door, they attack. I'm sure if I think that was part of because the point of doing it that way is they'll appear and strike me so I won't have time to finish doing such actions. Personal Shield Mark 3. That is very good. Uh, 
Um, yes. It's a good thing I'm not scared of the dark either. Is that another dead person? There's two X's. There's a second. We can examine this one. Sir, the person is from the 23rd century. The Devadon must have, must be bringing their victims through time. We have to stop them before they're responsible for any other deaths that could disrupt the timeline. So, they could kill someone from the 23rd century and it could change the timeline. Or, would, oh my days. Why weren't they violent? We're getting closer to their nest. Aren't they meant to get more violent? Or are they just watching us, trying to scare us? There's no reason for them to be letting us come down here. We need to continue going down. Yes. This appears to be the regulatory room for the computer core si power systems. The Devadon are probably leeching power from their station to keep their gate active. We could use this console to set up a power spike that we could trigger near the computer core, which might disrupt the Devadons and their gate. Very good thinking, Trevor. And of course, they're gonna try to stop us. It's just like a one-off beep alert. It's worried for a moment. This looks like a field control station for the lowest levels of the station. We could set up a field system here so that we can activate them in the computer core area to counteract the Devadon's phasing ability. That should push them out of sync with our universe. Again, Trevor, very good. But they don't seem to be here. Okay. Okay, oh wait, no. The fauna, if you could call it that. Oh, lag, apologies. Um, yes, I suppose the inhabitants has, it, what the, are they taking us somewhere or are they racing us? Oh, what? Why? This has to be the nest. That looks like a large engine. Possibly even we were on a starship, I think it would be a warp core of some kind. Like one of those old 22nd, 23rd century warp cores that tend to be quite cylindrical in shape, but we're not on a starship. Whatever it is, it's... Oh 
the cloud phantasm. Why? Why? You are a pain in my backside. One moment, let me just collect this item. Just because I knew how special it was. Okay, ops. What was that, Tavriel? Sir, the Devadins' time portal ahead back to the 23rd century. There's no telling how much trouble the Devadins may be causing in the past where the technology to detect them doesn't exist. Once we get readings on the portal, we should take them back to Deep Space K7. Their computing facilities are far more extensive than what we have on the Peacock, and they might be able to find a way to shut down the portal. Oh, so terrible architecture. Might I just point that out? Okay, so here's the portal. Time to scan it. The distortion from the portal here is portal is intense here, and it's difficult to process all of the information. We should at least be able to compensate enough to beam out, though. We need to take this information back to the nearest starbase, K7, for analysis. Their computers are powerful enough to process it. Go to K7. This mission is really long and I'm done with it already. I'm done with the story arc to be honest. Davidians phase. It's covering everything. It's a different phase. It's affecting our universe, not just our galaxy. It's affecting our universe. The fact that the phase variance, we need to consider phase into example, we need to consider geographical location. I mean... I mean, it has something to do with the comment. The comet. The fact that the comet's around. Which means at one point or another, we're going to have to engage this comet. And see, this is the point where I really regret not getting the walk on. And the fact that we're not holding the rifle makes me feel even more the fact that we should be having that weapon. Okay, while well, we transport, let's click rewards on these two duty officer missions. Um, we're gonna arrive in K7, so I'm not gonna waste time and put it through that but let's go deep, case, deep space case 7 the shaman system we have arrived and once again we are super zoomed in I really don't have a clue what does that. It's glamorous. I'm just going to go for a couple of the starships in the in the system, but apparently not. See, I feel the fact that there's several things that I do to name the starship. The Artemis was named after a particular individual. Peacock after a particular bird, each having particular symbolism that I pay in close attention that wouldn't necessarily be so 
Ascanus. Is she Valkyrie? Preliminary analysis. Temporal incursion consists with Davidian time portal technology. Approximate linkage time to star date 2715.6 Earth Standard Year 2265. Davidian portal based on phase shifting tachyon spin supports by drawn to station. Can the portal be safely closed or used? The portal suffers from instability due to quantum particle entanglement from phase shifted particles. The portal can be enlarged or accessed with modulated directed energy with phase shifting entangled matter reaching critical point. So this means that with tri triolithic energy surges peak, we can use remodulant and energy weapon, even a hand phaser, to use a portal and travel back to time. We could stop the Davidians at its core, at its source. So that is what we're going now to do. Now that we know the Davidians have a portal to the past and approximately where they are focusing their attention, I see no other choice than to send you and your crew back there to stop them before they kill again. I'll be honest, time travel is a tool. At times, it is a useful one. I know Starfleet has hundreds of regulations about temporal incursions, but my job is to preserve the Federation, not make Admiral Quinn and the rest of the suits at Starfleet Command happy. If we break a few rules along the way, so be it. I need to make some preparations before you can proceed. I will contact you when the time is right. Drake out. Okay. So that was an extremely long, well, from my standpoint, it was a long, it was only by about 10 minutes. Until Congratulations, next. Lieutenant Commander. But it's, whoa. Obviously, the Davidians have whoa, found whoa. a way to harm Whoa, them. that is a lot. That, that, that had to have come from me leveling up to level 15. But, I'm not going to go through this, it's, so I'm going to go through that off screen, but, Catch you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.